So about a year ago, I came down with really bad eczema on my right ankle. And I don't know why, but I, I just tried to deal with it with over-the-counter stuff like hydrocortisone cream and oatmeal cream and oatmeal baths, and nothing was working. It would maybe relieve it a little bit, but nothing actually was treating it until I tried celery juice. And holy cow, after just five weeks of celery juice, the difference is incredible. It's pretty much cured. There's just a little bit of discoloration left on my ankle. So in this video, I want to take you here to the kitchen where the juicer's at, and I want to show you exactly what I did involving celery juice and one other thing in the evening to get rid of my eczema. Alright everybody, got the tripod set up. Welcome back to Minus the Gym. And for any of you new to the channel, really quick, my name is Ryan. I'm a certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and all that jazz, but that doesn't really matter for this video, to be honest. I got this information from Anthony William, who is uh, an author who goes by the medical medium. I believe that's like a, a moniker that he goes by. So if you wanna learn all the details about how celery juice is so cleansing for the liver, and how it like, you know, the technical ways behind it that it can cure eczema and actually address the root cause of the problem, I suggest reading his book on celery juice, all right? But I'm just gonna tell you the protocol and share it with you here, exactly what I've been doing for the last five weeks to treat my eczema. So every morning when I'd wake up, I would have just a sip of water, just a sip, because I was about to drink a lot of juice, uh, go to the bathroom, of course, and then I would go to the fridge and I would take out a stalk of organic celery. And then I would go to the sink and I, I rinse that stalk of celery, make sure I get as much of the dirt off as possible. And then I set it into the uh, drying rack and let it just sort of drip dry for three minutes or so while I set up my juicer on the island. And then once I have my juicer all set up, I uh, tear each rib of celery from the stalk so they're all separate and individual because that's how you'll have to put it through the juicer. And then I just run it through the juicer one at a time um, I have a glass waiting there, a pint glass, and usually the one stalk of celery will make approximately one pint or 16 ounces of juice. Sometimes I got a little more than a pint, sometimes a little less, but uh, I just juiced one stalk every morning. Now, one thing that Anthony Williams says is really important is that you juice only celery. You don't go adding lemon or apple or any other fruits and vegetables to it. You know, when it's first thing in the morning and you're fasted, the juice is gonna go straight through your digestive system and hit the liver, and you want it to be pure celery juice. So that's really important. It should look like this, a nice deep green color, you know, with nothing else added to it. Uh, you wanna drink it kind of slowly and make sure you're just swishing it around a little bit in your mouth, letting your saliva mix with it. That really helps with the digestive process. And that goes for anything you eat or drink, but uh, especially true when you're doing the celery juice. Now, after I was done cleaning my juicer and finishing the celery juice, I did something else that actually lined me up for an evening routine. And this is something else I learned from Anthony William, because um, when he mentioned that if you have eczema or psoriasis, it's most likely due to, uh, like, a, your liver is not really up to par. It's not, it's kind of sluggish. It's not as healthy as it could be. Uh, and that totally made sense to me because all throughout my 20s, I was partying a lot and drinking a lot of alcohol. So I probably did some damage to my liver. I wouldn't be surprised. So I decided to sort of go the extra mile. And what I did is um, after I drank my celery juice, I would take one inch of ginger root. I would peel the skin off of it. And then I would grate it with a cheese grater into another glass. And I would then put water in the glass so that the ginger would soak in the water all day for like at least six to eight hours is recommended. Then in the evening, like well after dinner, but a good hour or more before I went to bed, I would squeeze half a lemon into that ginger water. So it's now lemon ginger water. And I would, I would drink that. Again, drink it slowly. Don't just pound it. You want to try to swish it around in your mouth, let your saliva mix with it. Um, but the ginger and lemon are also supposed to be very cleansing for the liver and anti-inflammatory and all these other really good things. So I also did that in the evening. Now, I don't think that's entirely necessary for everybody, but I wanted to mention it just so you know what my protocol was. It was a pint of celery juice in the morning and a pint of lemon ginger water in the evening. And again, as you can see by the before and afters, like there's still some discoloration on my ankle. 
It's only been five weeks. I'm going to keep drinking celery juice, maybe not every single morning, but I'm going to make it a regular part of my lifestyle for sure. Uh, and I'll start putting more celery in my salads and everything. But I think that discoloration is like scar tissue because the skin feels really smooth. There's no itching. There's no burning. It doesn't feel anything like eczema. It's just sort of slightly discolored like, like scar tissue. So um, I really think that this works. It seemed to address the root cause and within like a month or a little more, it really did treat my eczema and it's pretty much completely gone. So for any of you who are suffering from eczema or psoriasis, I highly recommend giving this a shot. Also, maybe check out Anthony William and his books. Um, he has, like I said, he has a book on celery juice that I highly recommend. And one other thing, if you really want to spread this information, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video. Okay, this is the kind of information that I wish was just common knowledge and I can't believe it's not. If, if the solution to our problems is right at our fingertips in the grocery store, it's the foods that we eat or juice, um, and, and yet we're being told by doctors that we should be rubbing hydrocortisone cream on our eczema and it doesn't even work, it might relieve the itching for six hours or whatever, but it doesn't get to the root cause. That's, that's like they're cheating us. It's like they're just taking our money from us on repeat over and over again. And it really, you know, I, I, for a year I was trying that over-the-counter stuff and it didn't do anything. So I'd really appreciate it if you have like, you know, a, a friend network on, on Facebook that you could share this to. I guarantee there's someone in that group of hundreds of people that has eczema or psoriasis and this will help them. All right, so give it a share, uh, give it a like if you want. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to stay tuned and hear more from me. All right? And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you then.